Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a luxury travel trailer that's perfect for couples and it gives you an outside kitchen. This is the 2021 Dutchman Astoria Model 3373 RL. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every RV that we review. And again today, I'm super excited to be taking a look at a higher end couples travel trailer, the Astoria. But before we begin, we would like to say hi to Will. Howdy, partner. Hey guys. How's it going? It's going good. Like Matt said, this is a perfect trailer for couples. Yes. Really nice. You know, like we said a couple days ago, Dutchman doesn't get as much, you know, or doesn't have their name out there as much. But I think a lot of you guys are really going to like this. So. Yep. We didn't say that a couple days ago. We said that about Heartland a couple days ago. Oh, you're right. <laughs> but, but yeah. Dutchman, Dutchman too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, let's begin. Model is 3373RL. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 37 feet 5 inches. The dry weight is 8,398 8, pounds. And will the hitch weight? 1,130 pounds. Perfect. Always remember, you want to get weight distribution bars no matter what. Right here, we have a nice power tongue jack right there. Two 20 pound propane tanks go here. You can upgrade them to the bigger 30 pounds. And then right here is where your batteries go. You do have a nice molded fiberglass front cap. Beautiful. It is painted. It does say Astoria. And you have these LED lights stripped right there. Right here, you have a diamond plate rock guard right there and solar right here. Now, this is a aluminum framing with uh, the fiberglass sides. So that's how you know it's a little bit higher end. And you do have this nice pass through storage held up by a magnet. Very nice. And then check that out, Will. Nice electric stabilizing jacks right there. Right. Coming on down the side, we do have a nice power awning with LED lights. Okay. Right here, we do have a place for the TV to hook up on the outside, power and coax and everything. And then right here, we have our more ride step above steps. I love these steps. They are awesome and very nice. Because this is a Dutchman, they do have the three year structural warranty. Okay. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the high specs, Oracles. I love those. ST225-75. R15 and you have your Dexter axles right there and then check this out looks like a nice outside kitchen nice big one very nice big outside kitchen you got an attitude fridge right there okay right over here you got a little bit of cabinetry and then this has a suburban cooktop right here no it's not Flame the King. Flame King. I like it. And then here we have a drawer right there. All right, coming on down the side. We do have a spray port. Psst, psst, if you do need a little bit of water. You do have a hitch right there. It is rated for 300 pounds of vertical. Do not tow anything behind this ever. And back here it is prepped for a Voyager backup camera. Finishing up. 50 amp unit. That's where you hook up your power cord. Potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Very nice. And then right there underneath, that's where you store your sewer hose. Perfect spot. Right here is where you dump your tanks. I love that. Very nice. Yep. Black tank, flush, city water connection, everything right there. And then here is some actually pretty decent storage. Yeah, it is. And then your water heater's right here. And then the other side of that storage is right there. Well, Will, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Here we go now. Check out the inside, good sir. Okay. All right, starting up front, we got the bedroom right here. 
the bathroom in the middle along with the kitchen dining area and the living area in the back mm. well we're, we are going to get started back here okay. look at this a little bit of a smaller couch that is, interesting yeah. gives you those bigger side tables side tables next yeah. to it okay right over here we do have the storage above very right nice, here. all interconnecting. Oh, yeah. Does, do they like stay up? No. Oh, this one does for some reason. I don't think it's supposed to stay <laughs> oh, like okay. that. <laughs> right over here, we do have nice balances with your privacy shades, okay? And then this is a trifold. It does come out to make a bed. Over here, look at how the slide outs are lit up right there. Very nice. You do have your theater sofa. That is nice kicks out and you are looking directly across at your television entertainment center very nice well tell us a little bit about these floors what about them well, oh, what style they are yeah herringbone very That's nice yeah very nice hairy bone design and notice on the slide out there is no carpet i love that mm. over here i love 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 how they're able to still give you this awesome entertainment center with that outside kitchen you got storage on this side, storage on that side, big TV, okay? Right over here, you have cabinetry, sound bars, more cabinetries, and then right there's your fireplace as well. This is beautiful. Sure is. And then over here is your dinette. I love how it's a booth dinette, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Plenty big, plenty spacious, storage underneath there, storage underneath there. This does drop down to make a bed. And then look at this, this is kind of weird. Is it a little high? It is a little high, but you know what? Being a little high is better than being a little low, you know? That's right. You need like this, you're like, nom, 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 nom. Put your face at the end of the table. Nom, nom, nom. Just be like, <laughs> <laughs> You got your lights right there. And then really nice big windows, again, with the privacy shades right there. Well, sit in that dinette real okay. quick. Okay, let's see. Yeah, man. This is a good height for me. Yeah, good, good. Big boy tested. That's right, big boy proof. Yes, sir. And I forgot to mention there is power and USB on those side tables right there. Well, well, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this travel trailer here is. It is luxury. $51,928 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see there, we don't currently have a sale price, but will. It doesn't matter if we did have a sale price. We will always be able to get everybody in America an even better sale price than that. We'll tell everybody what to do. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email, or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see contact tabs with three sections. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to a member of my team, and we get you the best price in America. If you have questions on this travel trailer, click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself, and we will answer you within 24 hours. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, not a problem, click that third tab. We will get back to you ASAP. And Will. It doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one. What's the one thing that every tab has in common? They're going to get the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Will, let's continue the video. All right. And before we do, yep. look at that nice headspace in our travel very trailer. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. We'll start over here. All right. Got a little bit of storage right there. Yes, sir. A nice coffee bar. I don't yep. think you can make that a taco bar. Nope, nope. Definitely a coffee bar. But you do have a plug back there. And some storage down below. Here you have a nice big pantry wow, there. Wow, very nice. This is very nice. And then coming over here, nice freestone microwave. Yes, sir. And then a little bit of storage up top here. Yes. Nice range hood here. Hood range. With the light mm -hmm. and a little bit of a backsplash. Yes, sir. And then over here you have- Ooh, that's a tower, tower of power, power right yep. there. Very nice. It. Three burner cooktop. Yep. With the blue lights. Greystone. Greystone, okay. Nice backsplash as well. In yeah. Or interesting. Oop, open that oven again, Will. Oh. Sorry about that. You're good. Good, good, good. 
little drawer underneath and a yes, couple sir. drawers. You got them? Yep. Three drawers. And then right here is your GE compressor refrigerator right yes, there. Yes, yes. Very nice. Behind me, we have the kitchen island. Very nice. It has a nice spray faucet. Mm-hmm. Um, not solid surface countertops. Mm-mm. And, but it does have a nice big uh, one or single bowl sink farmhouse yeah. style with the cover. Very nice farmhouse Oops. style. And some drawers starting over here. Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's two hundred and four dollars trash cans. That's right. That's two hundred and eight dollars worth of trash cans. Right. Um, some storage right there. Yes, ma'am. What's funny? <laughs> you keep saying yes, ma'am. I know. <laughs> I was wondering if these doors right saying. there. Yes, sir. There you go. Very nice. It's now time for the shower All test. All right. If you guys don't know, Will is a staggering six foot three. All right, I'll get in and then get. Okay. It's a nice big shower, actually. Holy I was smokes! Not expecting this. Very nice, very Plenty nice big space. shower. Yep. Plenty everywhere. Passes. Bing. Very nice. I get the shower test seal of approval. It does. Over here is our medicine cabinet. Okay, we got that right there. Nice sink and storage underneath there. It does look like it's a porcelain toilet. Oh yeah. Porcelain toilet. This is a prime pooping position. Bing. Very nice. I, li yeah, I really I'm like surprised. this bathroom. Cool. And then finishing up in the master bedroom. Look at this. You have a nice king size bed. We'll get in that bed. Crawl okay. in there. Yeah, this is that does look one. big enough for you. Sure does. You got your headboard there with two Definitely windows on is. each side. How does it feel? Feels pretty good. Definitely enough space. Yeah. Nice. Um. Again, the the light little glow on the slide outs. Yep. And then over here is where your TV would go. You got dual entertainment centers, a nice window there. Plenty of storage. Drawers. Storage. Let's see if there's storage under the bed. You know it. Sure is. And then you got your little cubbies right over there. And then look at this big massive storage up front here. That's right. Very nice. Amazing amounts of storage. Yeah. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. That's the Astoria. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we just dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? Um, let's do love. Okay. Okay. Let's do love. First thing I love. I'm going to go first. I love the footprint in here. I love the three slide outs. I love how big and spacious it is. I love the bathroom size. I just love the size of this trailer. Yeah. It is big, it is nice, and it feels like a fifth wheel, but it's not. Yep. That is number one. Number two. I'm going to piggyback off of you a little more specific with that shower. Yeah. I was looking at it, I was like, okay, it's it's good size, but it's raised up a little bit. The ceiling curves. I was like, I don't think it's going to pass. It's one of those, like, I don't know. They just, they just did it perfectly. I'm going to combo that with the big dinette. You yep. know what? I'm going to triple combo that. This, uh, this is a big boy proof travel trailer. It sure is. It's yeah. made for the big boys. You know what that's I'm right. saying? And again, just going back to that big footprint. So that's two. Yep. And then number three, Will, we're going outside. outside. Yes, sir. I do love this outside kitchen. Yep. It is very, very nice. It sure is. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we dislike about it. Well, hang on a second. Let me go a little more into context. Okay. I love how it has this outside kitchen with that entertainment center. Right. So many times on these rear living room travel trailers, you're not getting this. You're okay? not. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about this. You ready? Yep. I don't like how this outside kitchen does not give you a sink. Right. Wamp, wamp. You know, other than the sink, it is a great outside kitchen. But again, when it's this big, it should have a sink. Um, and that's just that. That's just yep, one. I agree. That's one. Number two, Will. Okay. Back inside. All right, I think at this price point and this weight level and everything, it should have had solid surface counter. Wow, you stole my number three. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. And nope, we, we did not tip each other off or anything. Right. That is an excellent, excellent point. Yeah. Because it's, it's heavy. It's not a lightweight. It's nope. It's already heavy. Yep. 
it's already a little pricey. Yep. You know, it should have been. So. Man, that is good. Good thing I had a backup number three. <laughs> Cause that was my number three. We're going outside again. Okay. You know, I was about to combo this, and I'm glad I didn't, cause then I wouldn't have had to add a little. Cause then I wouldn't have had a third. Number three, no awning. Right, right on yeah. the other side. Yeah. And it looks like there was plenty of room to do it too. They could have, would have, should have, and didn't. Well, well. But overall, what a great travel trailer. And that's it. That's the review. That's the Duckman story. Do us a huge favor. If you guys have any questions about this RV, please call us, text us, send us an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell number. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you're in the market for a luxury travel trailer, in a few seconds, you're going to see what we recommend right here and here. Will, is there anything you want to say? Of course. Talk to us. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I, I really think this is a nice couples travel trailer. I think a lot of the, you know, for two people it'll work great. Maybe if you have somebody coming along every now and then. Um, make sure to leave down in the comments below three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.